And then we're back up here at the cave. This is, well, it's going to be somewhat of a short video. I want to make a fire here soon. I got some steaks. It ain't going to be in this video. It's going to be another video, but I want to make some steaks. I got to go find some uh, firewood and some materials. It rained last night. Let's see if we can get it here. Right, right there was a, a drip. Here comes another one. So everything's kind of wet. Of course, there's a bunch of dry material in there, but you're not always going to have a cave to find stuff. And all these leaves here out in the open, they're basically wet. Like I've said in other videos before, I've went out in the rain camping and stuff on purpose just to test myself of finding materials because it comes in handy. And here real quick, you know, I got plenty of videos on these. There's a little trail side snack that sticks around all year round. This is wintergreen. If you're allergic to aspirin, though, don't take it. Because this has a natural aspirin in it. It can help with... Help with arthritis. Back pain. Stomach aches. You can make a tea out of the leaves. You can dry the leaves out. You can do it fresh, too. I got all kinds of videos on that kind of stuff. Right here, we got some stuff here. I ain't going to be collecting this right this second. This stuff's bare. But uh, it's hanging up off the ground, you know. Yeah, it got a nice click to it. You know, it rained last night. But it's up off the ground. So that makes it, you know, it had time to dry out. Even if it was still rainy out and stuff. You know, here's all kinds of stuff up off the ground. I'm just going to... Like I said, I'm just making a video now. I'll just go back through and gather stuff then. There's some leaves that are up off the ground. They're a little dry. But if you're looking for leaves and stuff, you gotta, you know, there ain't, there's a pine tree over there. Maybe we'll check that out quick. Just to give you an idea. And I know in all areas, you're not always going to have rocks and stuff, but say like this, if there is a rock. Because in that other video where I was making the, the bacon wrapped sausages over the fire, I camped there before and that rock literally saved my life because there was dry material in here. Let me see. Since this stuff was all nice and covered up, way deep in here, it's all nice and dry. And if you really want to try to find dry stuff, you can dig down underneath and find stuff. So you can hear it crunching, it's all nice and dry. There's some down in there. They did a controlled burn here a couple years ago, so there's charred stuff around. So I can take this, it's already nice and charred and it was up off the ground. Set this off to the side. I'll come back and get that. But I can use that once I get my fire going real good to catch a it'll catch a flame real easy. Some more kind of stuff. It's up off the ground. There's all kinds of stuff laying around. Even right here underneath this little rock. You got some leaves here that are underneath there that are dried because they were covered up throughout the night. Here, right here, here's a little tip. You know, normally in the woods, I always carry toilet paper, but this stuff right here. I grabbed it wrong. This stuff here is the wet nap of the woods, man. You could use that as toilet paper or wet nap. Something to wipe your ass on.
basically. Like right here's a bunch of green stuff, even though this stuff ain't all that thick. But if you get lucky sometimes, you look underneath this kind of stuff, you can find somewhat dry material. You see this stuff's hanging up off the ground. There is some water on there. Yeah, this stuff's wet. Just to give you an idea how to find find dry things. Right here we got a bunch of trees down. So it's already up off the ground. You could break limbs off of that and stuff. I think that's basically it. This video is running kind of long, longer than what I want it. <laughs> but it works out. Just some tips.